Hello and welcome back to Dusk of the Gods. When we last left off, well, found out Beowulf's got a bit of a uh, dragon problem. Okay, let's head back ashore. Go back to Axe and Spear, because you can move a little bit faster like this on land, it feels like. Hello, you. What is thy name? Aye, it is Heldig Broadshoulder. I come from the north in search of a King Beowulf. Word is it that he's a good man in search of warriors. From others I hear that it is urgent need of one very brave. It is adventure I seek, and perhaps I can find it in this Beowulf service. What can thou tell me of Beowulf? Nothing that I do not know yet, my friend. I am new to this land. I have sought him for some weeks now, and will do so until I swear upon him a shield man's oath. Oh, okay. Well, good luck with that. Let's see. Actually, if I recall right, I almost think that the mountains around here are uh, a place which the dragon does sleep. Yeah, it's in kind of a small valley, and it is one of the, like, yep, there it is. Also, game, um, awesome that you actually, um, have really good light mechanics. Might as well light up my position. But yeah, if we're going to take on the dragon, we, we better uh, find a bit better equipment than freaking uh, leather hides and, you know, a simple iron helmet. Are you... Dead or alive? Oh, you're alive. You're sworn to King Oak Beowulf. Oh, I guess... I've already been here. So, okay, good to know. Dragon, a little short of Beowulf, or south of Beowulf's castle. Now we can swim across here, no problem. Ah. Here's what I was looking for, probably another castle. Hail, fellow warrior, I am sure sealed man of King Nithirty. My oath binds me to protect Nithirty and his family, as well as the people that live upon his lands. Okay. Hello. Hail, warrior, may I help thee? Uh, what's your name? Greetings, friend, I may ask you thy name. I am Vel Benjef, yeoman of King Nithirty. If yeoman thou me, tell me where I can find the king. It has come upon sad times that thou come to the king's hall. I beg thee to take thy leave. But if thou truly wish to speak to Nithari, he can be found at the room to the north. He is not one to deny an audience. Uh, what has brought upon such sadness to the land? It is the hill giant tree smiter. The giant's raids that make his life difficult, but something must be worse must come to be. Days past, the king's daughter Thera was about the woods surrounding the hall. Tea smiter slew the girl's gods and took her away. Ooh. I guess you can't tell me anything about Tree Smiter, uh, obviously. Probably don't need to hold a torch in the middle of, you know, a king's throne room. 
Uh, another warrior doth come to my hall. Does Odin merely use me to fill ranks with his fallen warriors? So many a good man has already been felled by Tree Smiter. I shall send this one to death as well? Uh, perhaps I can free thy daughter from Tree Smiter's grasp. Thou think thou can succeed where so many have failed? I do not mean to belittle thee, but so many strong warriors have been felled by Tree Smiter. Even a mighty berserker sought the reward, but he too was slain. Judge me not, for I, uh, if I choose it, thy daughter would be in thy arms this very day. Forgive me, perhaps it is Odin himself that sent thee to aid me, and I, I should not judge thy weapon skill, but it is great enough to bring Tree Smiter to his knees. In despair, I begin to lose all hope. What do you know of Tree Smiter? Even now he holds my daughter Thera, for what evil purpose I do not know. I have promised great reward for her return. I would ask the same of thee, but I grow weary of sending good fighters to their deaths. Reward? I swear upon you, my magic battle shield life giver, that one that brings Thera back to me shall be given riches and adorned with precious jewelry, regardless of their bloodline, whether they be of noble birth or peasant blood. Riches? I do not desire gold nor thy riches, but by Odin's spear Gungnir, I swear to free thee, uh, her for life giver. So be it. If thou freeze her, return to me and I shall give thee my shield. Life giver is a small price to pay for dear Thera's life. Yeah, but I could use riches. Money is useful in this game. Not super useful, but useful enough. Hey, old fellow warrior, sword shield man, and king, nothing to you. Okay, you all say the same thing. You're just a, uh... Ta -da. Not much in here. Not much in here. And I think we're getting close to dawn, so don't need to waste that torch. So, the Great Tree Smiter is probably somewhere around here. I do not wish to give my name to brigands or thieves, thou may be neither, but these days it's hard to tell uh, betwixt a thief and an honest man. It's best to keep one's name to thyself. Uh, fear not, friend, I truly be. Even now I seek to rid this land of the evil giant tree smiter. If friend thou be, then know I am Biori, not but a simple woodsman. If friend thou art not, the, then may Co Thor curse thee. If thou truly seek to smite tree smiter, I wish thee well. What dost thou know, Tree Smiter? A plague to all, whether one is a king, warrior, or simple woodsman such as I. Praise Thor that I have been gifted with light feet and a great tracking skill, for I have been able to avoid the giant's raids. Tracking? Uh, if such a good tracker thou be, I must ask thee, will thou lead me to the giant's stronghold? Nay, thy bravery I do not possess. I shall not travel within a uh, short distance of the giant's dwelling, though aid thee I will. In my hut there is a strong ash bow, a quiver, and several fire-hardened arrows. Take them. Uh, if thou dost not take me to uh, there thyself, tell me where the giant is hiding. Go south of Nithili's Hall. The path will lead thee there. Go now, and may Odin grant thee victory, friend. Well, thank you. Also, definitely thank you for the stuff. If I put the quiver in my hand, it can show that I've got two arrows, but I can also sling it across my back. I can also put the bow there, but that requires two hands to operate. But yes, uh, 
having a bow is definitely going to be very useful. At least I'm going to hope so. <laughs> So, south from the king's castle. I think this is the direction to the king. Greetings, wanderer. Greetings, friend. May I ask you thy name? It is Gale, not to speak to steal what is thou seeks, but I'm a simple fisherman and I... Agar has not been uh, very given this past few months. Thou should not speak so. Why would I take from an honest fisherman? Forgive me, I did not mean to brand thee a thief. It's just that harsh times travels fall upon the king. His warriors no longer ward the lands from his hall. Many brigands have been about. Why has such harsh spies fallen upon the king? Does Odin no longer favor him? It is against the great, great tree smite. Some days past, he and several other giants of the hills landed upon the shore not far from here. And what dost thou know of tree smiter? Not save that one each of the giant from followers sailed from Thor's cursed Yongtem uh, to Nithardi's shores. They raid and steal from the king and his people. Many brave men have fallen to the giant's stone clubs. What can you tell me of the Aegir? I, I rise each dawn and make sacrifice to the Aegir, lord of the sea. But he no longer listens. What I catch is barely enough to feed my wife, Olaf, and I, leaving not to trade for the king or his men. So, things have not been doing well. Greetings, warrior. Greetings, friend. May I see thy name? I am Olaf, wife to Gal of the Fisherman. I ask thee to join us this evening, but we have little to offer. Seek out the king's hall, which lies to the east. He was never one to deny a good man a rightful welcome. Okay. Bye. So, east and then south. Hopefully get to Tree Smiter's camp. I can't talk to you, so I'm probably going to, yeah. Ow, that one really hurt. Roll to three. Hold a nine. Hold an eight. Nice. Twenty-four. Hold a nine. Hold a seven. Nice. Damage six. Hold one. Yeah. Luckily, this thing does not have critical failures. Hold a twelve. Damage fifteen. Nice. 13. There we go. Iron Durham and a broad bladed axe. That there. That there. And. Ooh. Another Iron Durham. So I've got five, six, seven. They're going to be useful. Hello. Who is it that travels upon the seldom travel footpath? A friend? A foe? What evil lurks yonder? Bring no harm for I. Valor smooths tongue. I am not but a simple fo uh, foreign scald. Words I cannot sing, but stories I do impart. Come, he who listens to the warrior's vestige. Neither gold nor civil can I offer thee, not even a good fight. But if thou shalt see thyself beside a man of words, I can offer thee a tale or two. Okay. Spin me these tales. I shall listen as long as thou vow not to earn the name Sleepbringer. <laughs> thou speak words of steel, my friend. Let us see. Something short, but ah, I've got it. Creation has brought us many things, and in all things there must be one unequaled of the gods. It is Odin who rules wise and strong, for there is no better. Upon eight mighty legs, Sleipnir rides as swift as light, which brings stone or wood can match. The beauty of the rainbow bridge of Bifrost. In all things there must be one unequaled. 
No other tree can match the mighty ass Yggdrasil spreads all over the world, in the heavens above and in the dark realm below, in all things there must be one unequaled. There is no greater ship than that of Frey, skilled Banar. That's how we're supposed to know the name of the ship. Over heaven lands it sails, even hell is bleed sodden waterway. In all things there must be one unequaled. What dost thou think? Uh, what can you tell me of the magical ship skilled Banar? Have I not told thee all that I know? Who would know better than Frey himself? Perhaps thou should ask him about skilled Banar. He begins to smirk. Forgive me, I did not mean to jest with thee. Uh, for how could we but mortal men ask one so divine about anything? Yeah. But yes, that's how you can know about skilled Banar, and then ask him about it. I did it early because, you know, one, I forgot that he actually mentions it, and two, yeah, it's something to not have to deal with later. Well, this is a foreboding little place here. I've lost uh, Nethertes, or however you're supposed to pronounce it, uh, Castle. Well, that is a uh, place of Freya. Hmm. Why not? Got time. Oh, come on. There we go. gave me a magical iron knife, or just a regular iron knife. Not exactly what I was hoping to get, but eh. Yep, just a knife. Yeah, the uh, spells that they give you are kind of random, so um, I think from now on, if I'm going to start uh, trying to get a spell, I'm going to do some, uh, you know, saves coming. Can I talk to you? Nope. Which means... You're going to want to fight. Ouch, 20. And there I go. <sighs> so things are. So things shall be. I mean, I suppose I should have, you know healed up or something, used one of those apples of vigor, but at the same time, uh, I don't have that many of them. But, I think we're going to call this a video, and uh, when we come back, I'm going to try to get my way back to um, King Nithiltime's uh, Nithilim, or however it's supposed to be pronounced. And I think you're gone. Sorry, Frostborn. <laughs> you picked with the wrong Ein Harrior. Um, but yeah, when we come back, I'll try to get back to the King's Castle so we can figure out a way to get to Tree Smiter. So, when we come back, we'll be there. Have a good one.